The BIM 2013 market study has recently been released by Rand German and Sundar Atri. The study concerns powder injection molding or PIM, which is a manufacturing technique that takes powder filled in a plastic, the mixture is molded, the polymer is removed, and by a heat treatment operation called sintering, a final density is achieved, as in the case of this lightning connector used in iPhone applications. In selecting a part for PIM, a balance has to be struck between performance, cost, production quantity, and complexity of the shape. In this manner, a number of successes have been achieved in recent times in the medical, automotive, and consumer industries. Typical parts range from a few milligrams in to several hundred grams. The exciting thing about PIM markets is that growth has been achieved in a spectacular manner, from a few million in sales in the late 80s to crossing one and a half billion currently. The technology is practiced worldwide, Asia taking over half the pie and significant activity in North America as well as European countries. PIM firms tend to be on the smaller side. The top 5% see 30 to 100 million dollars a year in sales and the rest of them are a few million dollars a year in sales. In terms of the materials that are manufactured by powder injection molding, the dominant compositions are steel and other ferrous based alloys. Titanium is expected to see significant growth in the coming decade. The powder injection molding equipment sales have tracked well with the increase in sales of components in PIM. Recent years seeing a growth of about 20 to 30% in sales of molding machines, furnaces, and mixing technologies. Powder injection molding components can see a wide range of growth in sectors where competing manufacturing techniques cannot deliver on the complexity, the material costs, the production volumes, the finish required for end users, the precision required, as well as the performance that occurs in demanding applications such as the medical sector. In this manner, high precision components are anticipated to see significant growth in ceramics, cemented carbides, and metals. For more information about the PIM 2013 market study, please visit pim2013marketstudy.scipivision.com and contact either Rand German or Sundar Atri.